Hello everyone, good to be with you again. Listen, today I want to talk about a question on social media that someone asked me and I was initially stumped by it. The question was, what is the greatest favor that an Indian Prime Minister has done for Pakistan? I was puzzled for about 30 seconds. An Indian Prime Minister doing Pakistan a favor? How could that be? But then when I thought about it a little bit more, I realized that yes, indeed, there was a favor, a huge one. And the answer is quite surprising. So listen with me carefully and see what I'm saying. The biggest favor, according to me, that an Indian prime minister has done for Pakistan is to help East Pakistan break away from West Pakistan and become Bangladesh. How was it a favor? First, look at the East Pakistanis. They were obviously happy to break away. They were being stifled and oppressed by West Pakistan. And now becoming an independent country, those Pakistanis could become themselves. They had their own identity and later they figured out their own economy and have done well for themselves. So these were the former Pakistanis whom Indira Gandhi helped. So far, so good. What about West Pakistan, which is now called just Pakistan? But let's not forget that it is West Pakistan. There was initial shock, hurt, humiliation, disgust, all kinds of negative feelings, and perhaps some disbelief also. But pretty soon they got over that and they realized that they were now really better off. Why? Especially the dominant Punjabis in West Pakistan now had no fear of Bengali rule. There were no more Bengalis in Pakistan because the Bengalis were more than 50% of United Pakistan. So no matter what you did, there was always the concern that you had to take account of the feelings of Bengalis. And in a democracy, uh, Bengalis would prevail, which is what had happened in the election just before 1971. Sheikh Mujib had won. That fear was gone. So West Pakistan could be much more itself too. And it became clear that what Jinnah called as a moth-eaten country was a mistake. The idea that there were two nations, the two nation theory, that was now gone. There were three nations, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. And Mrs. Gandhi made no attempt to hold on to any territory that India may have conquered or captured in the 1971 war. So West Pakistan was left intact, complete as it was, and in a sense, given the freedom to be itself, rather than to be tied most unhappily to another part of the country, far away, a different culture, different language, just the same religion. It wasn't working at all. So the West Pakistanis, now calling themselves just Pakistanis, also benefited from this breakup. And so I say that it was Mrs. Gandhi who did the greatest favor to Pakistan. Both wings were able to be themselves now, not united in an alliance that was not workable at all. Living together was not working. There is no sign that Pakistan and Bangladesh want to reunite like Germany has done, Vietnam has done, and perhaps Korea may do someday. No, they are separate identities and there will be three nations. And so this is the favor that Mrs. Gandhi did for East Pakistanis, West Pakistanis, though there were some initial problems for West Pakistan. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'll see you next time with some other topic. Till then, bye.